welcome back so this video is a follow-up to the previous videos we have on how we use um, semi bin to build mags so in this case we are going to be instead of as in the first semi bin video where we had a single sample now we're going to have multiple samples and it also follows the video we did on how to use ngls to assemble multiple samples but th these are actually all independent so if you've had if you have assemblies from multiple metagenomes um, obtained with another tool this will still make a lot of sense but do check out the previous videos do check out the tutorials on github so with that let's start and we are going to activate the semi bin underscore tutorial the uh, environment that we had already done in the first video um but you know if you have any doubts everything is on github just check there check there um, but what's important here is that we have these three files context underscore then a sample name dot fa and these are the assemblies from these three samples and so now we're going to be doing multi-sample binning um which which is actually more computationally costly but should give you better bins as well so the first thing we need to do is actually build this concatenated file and there's a built-in subcommand in semi bin both semi bin the first version and semi bin 2 concatenate underscore fasta uh, just we just give it all of the fasta files and just let's we're going to be using the semi bin dot out dot multi and this is a fairly trivial command all it does is indeed concatenates um, all of the FASTA files together but also does also uh, annotate each individual contig with the sample it comes from but it does take a few minutes so we're going to do this thing where we jump directly to the end and there it is um, and then we are going to be using here ngls but again if you want to use a different tool that's fine too so let's just check this this is pretty much the same as um as we had last time where we're going to be over all of the samples we are going to be um run for all samples then do some basic pre-processing and map them against the oh there's a little typo there so let me just fix that typo mapping against this FASTA file which is in the semi bin dot out dot multi slash concatenated and now we're just going to run this um and you know as we saw before we have to run this three times so instead of doing it one by one i'm just going to do a for loop um and then run it three times uh, oh okay let um, just need to switch back and forth between environments here so let's just reactivate the environment again um and we we could have done this by simply adding everything into the same environment that's also an option but here we just do it this way and again so this takes a little bit so again we're just going to jump to the end and there it is so we have here concat output um, and just to make sure everything works well let's just try running it one more time yep that just says all jobs are finished but we have our three bam files that we wanted and so that's so now we can use semi bin to bin them and so we need to go back to the semi bin environment to be able to use semi bin and now semi bin too um, and again we're, we we could do this in a couple of different ways um, but we are going to be using this multi easy bin command um, so we need, we need to say okay these are our inputs that just or, um, our input so the concatenated FASTA file how you yep concatenated FA um, give it the BAM files and there it is yeah concat yep just give it all all of them and then uh, again we're going to use four threads and put right and and put the output oops it's not oh yep Put the output forgot about the output back into the same directory okay and there it is and since we're using semi bin 2 it will default to self supervised mode which is slightly faster and and leads a lot less memory and hope normally it also gives you slightly better results um but again this takes a long time uh this step here uh it's much faster if you have a gpu and and so here again we're going to do this and oops yeah there it is step to the end so everything's run now and here 
it's done it did take a long time um took several hours and the outputs are all in the semi bin dot out multi directory there it is so we have here there's some in the samples we, some all, all of the features that were computed and the actual bins are in this bin subdirectory so context and then the sample name and then the so the different bins and so th that's it so so you well, let me just yeah let's just yep yeah, there, there it is um that's it that's how you can use semi bin to use multi sample binning um it you, you have this trade off it does take longer but it can potentially give you much better bins uh so these bins are even though we're using all of the samples together they are still sample specific so we are just using the abundance across samples um, to be able to get better bins and if you have any questions you know if there's a semi bin mailing list there's also you know email or discord join us there please subscribe to the channel and i hope to see you very soon